During this video, I am going to show you how to solve two-step inequalities. Remember, our main goal is to isolate the variable. So, I strongly suggest that when you're solving two-step inequalities, the same way that you're solving two-step equation, you start with the number that is not with the variable, that is not that close to the variable, okay? So in this case, we have negative four. So as negative four is subtracting, I am going to add four here and also four in the other side of the inequality. So I'm ready to cancel this out. So I need to bring down five X, bring down greater than or equal and 11 plus four, which is positive 15. So I still have five that shouldn't be there. As five is multiplying my variable, I need to do inverse operation, which is division. So I'm going to divide by five in this side of the inequality and divide by five in the other side of the inequality. Now I'm ready to cancel it out. X is greater than or equals to 15 divided by five is equal to positive three. So now I'm ready to graph my solution. This is going to be, let's say, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, and three. Remember that when I have less than or equal, greater than or equal, I need to use closed circle, okay? So I'm going to show my closed circle in positive three, and now I need to analyze what the solution is telling me. It's saying that my variable could be any number greater than or equals to three. As you know, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on, they are greater than positive three. So my arrow will be pointing towards this direction. That's where the number that are greater than three are. I will like that you pause the video and try to solve this two-step inequality. I'm going to give you a little hint though. You will be either multiplying or dividing by a negative number. Don't forget, you need to reverse the direction of the inequality symbol when you either multiply or divide by a negative number. Very good. So remember that you need to start with a number that is alone in the side of the inequality where the variable is. So as four is adding, I am going to subtract four here. I'm also going to subtract four in here in the other side of the inequality. So I'm ready to cancel this out and I have B out of negative three is less than 13 minus four is positive nine. As you can see, now I need to multiply by a negative number. That's why you need to change the direction of your inequality symbol. So I'm going to cancel this out. B is no longer going to be less than, it's going to be greater than, okay? Now you're ready to multiply. Nine times negative three is negative 27, okay? All right, now you're ready to graph your solution. So this is going to be negative 30, negative 29, negative 28, negative 27, negative 26, and negative 25. So as I am going to use the symbol less than or greater than, I'm going to use an open circle. So the open circle should be in negative 27. Now I need to analyze what the solution is telling me. So basically it's saying that any number could be greater than negative 27. So remember that in the negative side, as they move away from zero, they become smaller and smaller and smaller. But I'm looking for numbers that are becoming greater than negative 27. So it will be negative 26, negative 25, negative 24, and so on. So the arrow should be pointing towards this direction. So remember, when you multiply or divide each side of an inequality by the same negative number, the direction of the inequality symbol must be reversed for the inequality to remain true. Don't forget about that. You only do that when you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number. 
pause the video and try to do this one by yourself. All right. So in this case, we have um, negative four is basically subtracting. So I'm going to add four here. And I am also going to add four in this other side. So I'm ready to cancel this out and it will be positive three y is greater than or equals to 17 plus four, which is 21. In this case, I am not dividing by a negative number because three is positive. So I'm going to divide by three because as you can see, three is multiplying y. And the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide three here. As I am dividing by a positive number, my symbol will stay the same. I am not going to reverse it because I am not going to multiply or dividing by a negative number on this case. So I'm going to cancel the three and I have y alone, which is my main goal. 21 divided by three is seven. So now you're ready to graph your solution. So let's say that this is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. Remember that when you're working with a symbol such as less than or equal or greater than or equal, you need to use a closed circle when graphing your solution, all right? So let me use a closed circle and the number seven. And now you need to stop and analyze what the solution is telling you. Basically, it's saying that my variable could be any number greater than or equals to positive seven. As you know, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and so on, they are numbers that are greater than or equals to seven. So they do meet the criteria. On these type of exercises, you need to use the distributive property, which means that you're going to multiply the number that is right outside of the parentheses by each one of the terms inside the parentheses, all right? So let's see. Negative 7 times positive x is negative 7x. Negative 7 times positive 3 Remember that when you're multiplying and they have different signs, your answer is negative. So it's going to be negative 21. Now I'm going to bring down my sign, which is less than or equal to 28. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have this number and this number that they shouldn't be there because that's where the variable is. So negative 21 is subtracting. So I'm going to add 21 in this side of the inequality and I'm going to add 21 in the other side of the inequality as well. So I'm ready to cancel this out and I'm going to bring down negative seven X is less than or equals to 28 plus 21 is equals to 49. In this case, I am going to have to divide by a negative, which means that if I am either multiplying or dividing by a negative number, I need to reverse the sign of the inequality. Instead of pointing towards this direction, it's going to be pointing toward this other direction. So now I have x which is equals to negative seven. So now I'm ready to graph my solution. This is going to be negative eight, negative seven, negative six, negative five, negative four, and negative three. As they have less than or equal or greater than or equal, I need to use a closed circle. Don't forget about that. So I'm going to use a closed circle in negative seven. And now I need to analyze what my solution is telling me. It's basically saying that my variable could be any number greater than or equals to negative seven. So remember in the negative side, as they move closer to zero, they become greater and greater. So those are the numbers that I'm looking for. So negative six, negative five, negative four, and negative three, they are greater than or equals 
to negative seven. So they meet that criteria. How about you pause the video and try to do this one by yourself. Remember to use the distributive property first, which means multiplying the number that is right in front of the parentheses by each one of the terms inside of the parentheses. Pause the video. All right, so let's see. Negative 4 times positive n is negative 4n. Negative 4 times negative 10. Remember, when you're multiplying and they have the same sign, your answer should be positive. So it will be positive 40. I'm going to bring down my symbol, which is less than, and I'm going to bring down the 32. As you can see, 40 is adding here. So I'm going to subtract 40 in this side of the inequality and also in this side of the inequality. I'm ready to cancel it out. So it will be negative 4n is less than, in this case, as they have different signs, I need to subtract them and keep the sign of the greatest absolute value. In this case, it's negative 40. So my answer will be negative 8. Hmm. Let's see if you remember this one. So whenever you are multiplying or dividing by a negative number in both sizes of the inequality, you need to reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. So in this case, I will reverse the direction. Now it will be pointing towards this direction because I'll do negative 4 here and negative 4 here. Goodbye. I just cancel it out. So I have n. And now, do you remember that when you are dividing and they have the same sign, your answer is positive? I'm glad you do. Because a negative a divided by negative 4 is positive 2. So now I need to graph my solution. Let's say that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. As I have less than or greater than, I need to use an open circle. Open circle in positive 2. Now I need to think about what the solution is telling me. It's telling me that n could be any number that is greater than 2. So positive 3, positive 4, 5, and 6, and so on, they are all greater than positive 2.